This is a test 1080p video sample with the Oppo Find 5 and you can see it supports continuous autofocus. And it focuses in pretty good macro wise. You can see it kind of auto focuses very rapidly and um, it does it a lot. Even if you keep it still, it'll keep on auto focusing. And I've noticed that on some things. But it does auto focus pretty quick, but it does not have a auto focus off on the settings. See how often it is often often it is auto focusing here. Well, it's picking up a good level of detail from what I can see. The Apple Find 5 features a 13 megapixel camera and does very well on still photography. It does have its quirks though, but in most cases it does take pretty good pictures. Now this is no Lumia 920 or HTC One here, but it does pretty good in low light conditions. But when it gets pretty dark, it tends to fail out like right here. And if you use the flash, it tends to just overblow. But that is like in most cameras out there. But if you go out to good lighting conditions outside on a good day, you will get really, really crisp pictures out here. Like you can see here in this construction, you can really see that it's picking up a good amount of detail and the color replication is really, really good. But the one thing you'll notice is that it's, it's a little bit soft on the details on the edges. It could be a little bit crisper, but it does take really good pictures. And if you do look though, this focus is a little soft and just the white balance and stuff is just not quite correct yet. But what's awesome about this camera is that Apple always brings new firmware and improvements to the camera. And even when I was making this review, they put out a firmware update for the camera. And you can see here, this was the biggest thing that was annoying me big time about this camera was that you can see how often this thing is autofocusing. It is insane. It was autofocusing every three to four seconds, no matter what you were doing, because there's no fixed focus on this camera or in the software. And it was just really irking me, it was really making me mad, but they just put out a software update. I found this update to improve camera quality all around, still pictures and video. And video was the biggest improvement to me because this is nighttime video as you can see on a fire and it looks really really good and it definitely improved it some and you can zoom in while you're recording here but you know you're going to lose quality as in any kind of digital zoom here but it actually doesn't look that bad but what's awesome about this is that now you can tap to focus while you're recording video and that is obviously made famous by the iPhone 5, but there's not a lot of Android phones that can do this, or I don't know of any Android phone so far that can do this on stock firmware. And this is amazing, because see, you can do here where you can get the full light here by tapping on the background, or you can just focus right on the fire, which is really cool, by tapping into the fire, and it'll give you different effects and give you different options here on the camera which I really really like and this definitely made video recording much better on the Apple Find 5 and it definitely does not have that autofocus problem anymore it doesn't autofocus all the time you can see here that I'm tapping to focus and I can just focus now right on the fire and get a really cool effect on this video so kudos to Oppo for doing the firmware update but you can see here still though, if you get into really, really dark video, the frame rates are dropped here and you can see that it's just not looking too good. And even though now you can tap to focus, you can just see how bad the video looks still in the dark. But there's not a lot of cameras 
on the mobile cameras that can record anyway in the dark but I know a lot of people are complaining about this but it looks good enough it's passable but you can definitely see the drop in frame rate for sure on dark photography and video so what do you guys think about this camera I think it performs just as good as the 8 megapixel cameras out there it performs to me just as good as the 13 megapixel camera on the Sony Xperia Z since they're the same sensor anyway so please subscribe to my channel today, watch my other videos, and follow me on Twitter at SuperScientific.